So I just went to a Jordan B. Peterson, a Dr. Jordan B. Peterson wow. show. Big, we're big fans of Jordan B. Peterson. Big Peterson. fans it's of so Jordan big B. Big fans. When, when, people, not. when people see the, when they say the B, I get confused. Jo- we're talking about the same Jordan Peterson, right? Jo- we're both talking about Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. Okay, he is officially more yeah. famous than the other Jordan Peterson. The only thing I don't like about Jordan Peterson is that he does say that you have to settle down and be with one woman. He does say that. Mm. Honestly, everything else he teaches is good it's advice. Like, it's, it, that's good it advice, is. though. For but sure. everything else he teaches is 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 going to lead you to getting a lot of pussy. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like, "But you must give it all up and pick one." Mm. <laughs> Why? Of course, that's what you took from. Him. <laughs> no, he's fucking right, though. Leo's so course. right. He's, it's it's not nothing when a man can attract a lot of women. It means fundamentally there's something masculine and desirable about him. Yeah. But the problem is men must choose one. To do otherwise destabilizes society and will be a, a, a negative in achieving your own goals. <laughs> it's, true. it's so true. that he, I'm, Isn't that right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he what he's up mean? there on stage and he's like, "Oh, you have to lift up your 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 fupa to to get it inside the lady." <laughs> and just everybody's nodding and taking notes. <laughs> Was that something he really said? I'm no, finish. that's uh, funny. No. Fat upper pussy area. Yeah. I don't think oh, he said her that. Pussy. You have yeah, to yeah. lift up her fupa to get it in. I thought he was saying something like men out there who are who are masturbating to internet pornography and and not facing the wild world and not, as it were, entering the gates of Haiti. They need to lift up. If it needs to be done, lift up your body fat symbolically. <laughs> and uh, I can see him doing something like that. He, That's uh, why I asked. Did he cry? During the uh, he did I, not that I saw, but I got there really late. Okay. But then I got to nice. stay for the private Q and A after because oh, I had nice. uh, backstage tickets. So after the theater ends, the, uh, after the show ends, he does the meet and greets, and then there's a kind of a lull, and then fifty people are left in the entire theater, and you s- sit up at the front, and that's for all the really diehard. Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. And that How much a lot were those money? fucking tickets? Yeah. I don't know. I just got I got one. My friend knew the tour manager and texted him. Oh, nice. Damn. Those are probably so. fucking expensive. Jordan Peterson was making a hundred grand a month on Patreon. And I know you've been involved in other projects mm-hmm. to make a hundred grand, more than that a month. But yeah, just as a philosopher, he was making that kind of fucking money. So I'm sure his wow. I'm sure his lecture tickets now, especially his fame has just gone way up since he was on Patreon. I mean, I'm sure that that QA ticket was like 600 bucks probably yeah i mean only f- i guess 50 people could only uh, afford them in the theater of 2000 what so, happened there did you ask him anything i so i didn't he it takes him it takes him 20 minutes to answer questions yeah. and then he gets to the end and he goes uh he gets to the end of everybody's question he goes so i don't really know what to tell you really yeah he just he goes all over the place he starts talking about like you know, uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast and stuff. Yeah. And he loves going, fairy tales and he loves the Bible. Are you mm. saying that Jordan Peterson's full of shit? No, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying he's full of shit. Okay. Everything he does is based off of uh, Joseph Campbell and Carl Jung. Oh, so, okay. like, if, if you like Jordan, if you read those books, it's That's everything is piecemealed from it. But, wow. Uh, wow. You are saying he's kind of full you're of shit. Some shit. No, I'm not you're saying he's full of shit. Is it plagiarist that his guy, you can't give a straight answer at a Q&A? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. No, he's he's very well versed What'd in all these studies. Him? What'd you ask him? I didn't ask him anything. Only three people got to ask questions it's, this whole time. Excuse but, me? Yes, you, young man right mm. there. How do I get my <laughs> wife pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you read the book of Leviticus, there's a scene where... Joseph, that's probably what he would go with. He would just launch into a Bible story. Sure, he probably would. What did, is, uh, he's what? Is he just the, the is he the biggest, the what, pseudo intellectual that we He's have? not a pseudo intellectual at all. I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think you're being critical saying he's highly influenced by Carl Jung. It's, it's Jung, right? That's how it's fucking spelled. Yeah, it's with a J. I, but. Uh, dude, he is, he is fucking legit. He knows his shit. He's fascinating. He's not a pseudo-intellectual. A pseudo-intellectual is like one of these guys teaching King Croc about pickup, talking yeah. about evolutionary psychology. That's what well, Jordan Peterson NLP and banging shit. Banging college chicks. That would make me, that would make him a full force, a force in my life. Yeah, you know? if he just started getting pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. just wearing suspenders and <laughs> and just going like ape shit on the town. Yeah. He started <laughs> dating every, uh, like Pete Davidson. Yes. Uh, uh, after three. Thought that'd be fucking the best. <laughs> just <laughs> it is a hard to imagine. It's a TMZ a interview. It's him and Kim Kardashian. They're like, yeah. So Kim and Jordan, yeah. How do you how are you liking it here in Ibiza? And Kim's like, it's so good. I just love the sun. I love to dance. Oh, thank you, Kim. Jordan, how are you liking it? 
Well, if you read passage 327 in the book of Job, there's a scene where, where Jonah turns against God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's how that would fucking go. He's just staring at her giant ass. Yeah. With like a, he has like a monocle. He's just the, looking at her ass. The, the leviathan that, that, that hunts mm. Job, it reminds me of... Well, I think Jordan when he eats Peterson. pussy, his bow tie spins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd be fucking. I don't up. think jo- I don't think Jordan could handle fucking Kim Kardashian. Man. I think he could fucking handle. He's on a carnivore diet. He's all meat, dude. He's got some jizz built up. But I oh, so I wanted to say though, at the Peterson show, <laughs> these guys are pickup artists. Oh no! First question, oh, guy says, no. as, "We need to go, dude. We need to. Go. We need it to was go." An amazing show. It's amazing. It, oh wow! It's, you know, everything now is always the opposite of what everybody says. The thing is. Where everybody yeah. goes, oh, this guy's bad. You look into him, he, he's good. And then someone goes, oh, this guy, everybody goes, this guy's really good. You look into it, the guy's bad. Are you referring to Jordan Peterson being canceled? I'm what referring you- to Jordan Peterson's fan base being all white men who can't get laid. I went, it's uh, white people are the minority and everybody there looks like they get a, a, a lot of women wow. and ladies. W- wow. You say white people are the minority. Who is that? In the show. Oh, I, uh, I sat next to a guy that looked like Osama bin Laden. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it, I would envision and he had like a, strictly Asian, a short Asian chick next I, to him. You know, I, and there I, were a lot of Asian gentlemen. Yeah. I black knew people? that there'd be a lot of Asian gentlemen there. Black people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of black people. Yeah. Mm, fuck wow. yeah. That's dope. Tell me, though, what the pickup artist. Oh, had. yeah. So he stood up and he said, as someone in the pickup industry. Oh, my fuck. Which I've never heard before, but I, I suppose it is a legitimate business with like a, you know. Uh, you can make a lot of money. Everything. Oh, you can make we a lot know, of fucking I mean, money. We, you can get uh, you can get four thousand dollars out of out a of uh, a kid who <laughs> d- is is negative ten thousand in debt. It's kind of wild. Our, yeah. the guy who's the third mic on our show, he paid four grand to a pickup artist. Dude, All on the and, margin. Uh, the guy so basically one of these guys in the front row of the Jordan Peele. Yeah, it was probably him. Sure, yeah, it was now, probably him. And, and all he <laughs> learned after pay four thousand was, "Can I meet you real quick?" Is his that, opening, that line. opening line. Yeah, the guy's game is so whack. It's but, unbelievably bad. But so he learned better. how to day game. What's up? He learned day gaming. It's not really. He he learned how to creep chicks out for well, how to make girls uncomfortable. Day gaming is saying hi to women that don't want to be bothered. I when see. I, I used to when I was in college. I ran a lot of day game. If you are smooth, a lot of chicks are really into it. I would say maybe one in t- one in fifteen girls is like, "Leave me alone, get away from me." But a lot of chicks were like, "Oh wow, this is so nice. It's so nice to get talked to by a guy not in a nightclub when he's hammered." Yeah, drunk. you're basically a, a Gatling gun. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean that. That's that a numbers is, game. Yeah, that's a true. That's the, any ladies man that I've ever ran into. It's always a numbers game, though. At the end of the really? day, really, yeah, always. Yeah. It's always. never just like the best looking guy you've ever seen in your life. Mm. That that happens too. There's definitely yeah, I mean, good looking- as much as Leo will try to deny it and tell people like, dude, it doesn't matter. If you've got a two-inch cock in your ball, <laughs> I do tell people. Well, I don't even know if women want 80s. big penises. I'm a very, I'm, yeah. I'm in the. I agree industry. with you. I've heard, I, I've heard. I, I've, I've heard they, I've, I've heard they think guys with big cocks are fucking losers. Oh yeah, and that's what I stand by. So that goes for all three. Dino These is guys, a loser. unfortunately, all have big cocks. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, so. but at the Jordan Peterson show, I was gonna uh, the guy's question, the pickup artist. Yes. So he goes, as he starts this question with. And I'm sorry, my nose is stuffed now, so I don't know if I sound weird or it's whatever. Okay. It just started? My it head, just got stuffed? No, it's kind He's, of been You've stuffed. had sinus, okay. yeah. I've had, I had to take a steam shower before I came here. Oh, wow. I probably have what uh, this guy has. The fucking King Croc? Maybe, dude. Yeah. Is that what his name is, King Croc? King yeah. Croc. We gave him the name. His Instagram handle is King Croc BBC because he has- Oh, got it. A, a big yeah. black cock. But, but continue. What I, are the I just have say? sinus problems. But anyway, mm-hmm. he- uh, he goes, ask someone in the pickup industry. And his question was, I have a lady uh, a who I'm still legally married to, but separated from. And we have a three-year-old daughter. And she wants me to stop day gaming wow. and being a pickup artist. But he goes, I have a lot of clients that I teach these practices to also. So I guess... You know, it's one of those things where he's like, I got to sharpen my own blade, mm-hmm. you know, to keep make he, he has a livelihood. I mean, it's true, though. Like being a pickup artist, you have to continue mm-hmm. going out into the field or you will even lose if you your... do wed a woman. Yeah, even. Yeah, of course. God said to Moses on Mount Sinai. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my Jordan Peterson as we get later into the fucking show. <laughs> it sounds I more like Elon Musk. Yeah, I can't find it. 
He does a good I'm, Elon Musk. I'm, I'm, I've got a cloudy head right now. <laughs> what did Jordan say to that guy, though? I feel like Jordan must have been so, a little bit like this guy is a fucking... So at the end of it, he, he goes... He tells this little question where he's like, basically, I'm married. and I love She's the love of my life. I love my daughter, but I don't want to stop, like, day gaming all the time. And then, he, like, he sat back down, and Jordan goes, I don't think I, I exactly understand your question. Right. And then he goes, can you please repeat it? So he stood up and said the whole thing again. Oh, my God. And then he sat back down, and then Jordan did that thing where he, like, paused for a second and uh, did the emoji of, like, the finger on the chin and looked up. And then the guy stood back up and said... And by the way, uh, for uh, full context of my situation, I do have a background in mixed martial arts. Oh, my And then he sat back down, as if that had anything to do. <laughs> dude, this guy sucks. Huh? There's yeah, probably so. a lot of that, dude. There's probably a lot of that. And he was dressed really like Abraham Lincoln. I mean, every, everybody had like a three-piece suit That's on what Jordan with, says. Like, he says people show up in suits stuff. all the time. It's whack. Everybody looked amazing. Did you wear a suit? I wore like a shitty, ill-fitting thing that everybody uh, roasted me on my... Uh, Instagram for when I posted because my khakis weren't ironed and stuff. I looked like shit. It was making me and me and uh, Kurt Metzger went and we were laughing at the idea of going dressing up like GK Chesterton like people with like monocles and like crazy hats. <laughs> but we didn't have time before to <laughs> that would have been really, really funny. Was the lecture interesting? The actual lecture? We were like so late. We kind of missed it. Okay. But apparently it was on Exodus. When we walked in, he was doing a a Q and A, the Q and A, but he was doing the Q and A before the private Q and A because he does a lecture and then he sits down in a chair with his wife Tammy, who's dressed up like one of the ladies in the village with him night Shyamalan. Huh. You got, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a colonial in the colonial garb, mm -hmm. and she asks questions to Jordan where she just reads off questions from the audience, like, uh, you know, someone asks, uh, "How do I become a very tiny man and get squished by a large woman?" He goes, "Well, you know, if you think about it, the model myth is." Uh, and he talk, he it's, he talks for like twenty minutes, and then you forget what the question even was yeah. by the end of it. But so to this pickup artist guy, and this comes back to the scuba diver instructor, as he said, "Here's what I'll tell you, ladies love." A beast they can tame. He goes, take Beauty and the Beast, for example. This is mm. one of the top sexual fantasies for women. It's true. He goes, why is the woman, what's her name in it again? Belle. Belle. Mm. Why is Belle not attracted to Gaston? Because Gaston's he, dope. Yeah. Right. But he, he clearly just has some sort of psychopath personality. Mm. He, he can't be tamed. A woman needs a beast that can be tamed, Ooh. which is why she... Bell falls for the actual beast himself. Damn, dude. King Croc then, needs to be here, dude. He needs to hear this. And then he says... I uh, want to rewatch Beauty and the Beast. Dude, it's phenomenal. He says it? the top five sexual fantasies of, of women. And I believe this was conducted after the best-selling novel was ever published, which was uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I believe is about a guy like abusing a woman. It's not really abuse. He it's it's a consensual Sadist BDSM thing. relationship. Okay, cool. But he's definitely completely dominant and best selling not work of fiction ever. I think maybe is there anal in it? I don't think he explicitly fucks her in the ass. That's I'm trying bullshit, to remember. Then. But I mean, I, does, does it beat Harry Potter though as a work? If I don't know if it sold more than that. This is what Doctor Jordan B. Peterson said. <laughs> hey man, if Jordan B. Peterson. Said, Jordan. Every time I, B, I'm like the Grateful Dead, where I just follow Jordan B. Peterson on his. Set. <laughs> I just go. I'm going to see the doctor. It was. Oh, yeah. I really became a way better love maker for uh, about a year and a half after I read that book, though. 12 Rules for Life? No, 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 no. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. No, fucking uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey. I read that, and it, uh -huh. it did change how I banged chicks. I don't think you're better. a bad... I mean, the way you describe what you do, I, I'm pretty sure you're an above-average lovemaker. Yeah, because, Leo, your technique for making love is to bend the girl over, tell her to not look at you, and hump until you come on her back. Yep. Leo's the laziest sex haver on the planet. So there, there's He's right. There's anyway. There's five professions uh -huh. that Jordan Peterson says that are the top five professions that women have sexual fantasies about a man Ooh. in this profession. This okay. is interesting. Podcast. Could you could you guys <laughs> could you guys guess one of them? Firefighter. Fire yeah. Fire no. Construction. No. Really, policeman. No. Ooh. Stripper. So no. these professions, it's all a man who's capable of great danger. But oh. is is tamed or whatever he said. It's, okay, it's like a beastly thing. Mm -hmm. So number one, yeah, swear to God, number one is billionaire. 
fucking bullshit. It's not a profession per se, but I guess yeah, you're it's, right. Mackenzie fucking Bezos what, is a you billionaire. Think, you think any, any one of our chicks would just leave us for fucking a billionaire? Yeah, any chick would leave anybody provided the right guy comes along. That's how it would go. Just like any guy would cheat on any chick provided the situation was perfectly aligned. If the stars aligned. it's yeah, it, There's mm. nothing we could do. If Justin well, any Bieber, guy could be raped. It, it's about to happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's going to happen it's much sooner than you think, Ben Avery. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, if Justin Bieber, let's not kid ourselves, boys, ran into any of our chicks at a shopping mall. I like Justin Bieber's or a party in the hills. <laughs> Justin Bieber's uh, 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 gir uh, girls that he banged, whatever, list. It's fucking solid. Yeah, dude. we would get cheated on quick. But yeah. who are the other professions? Other than billionaire, which is not a job. It's a fucking status. Yeah. I looked it up. I don't even know if it's true. I mm -hmm. found things that debunked it. But anyway. The other one was pirate. Pirate? <laughs> Leo I likes mean, that it, one. No, no. I mean, like there's a, a thing. There's something to uh, that this pirate thing. Every uh, Pirates of the Caribbean will tell you that. Johnny I mean, I've been Depp a, was a, is a sex yeah, symbol. Yeah. Sex yeah. symbol. But any girl that you've ever taken to and Disneyland. And wasn't before that. No, you're right. Yeah. You're so right. He was yeah. not before yes, that. Yes, he was. But if you take Edward a girl where? Edward hands. He was a sex symbol he was before that. Kind of. I mean, he uh, early on, and then he lost it, and then he got it back. We're also skewed because we were children when Pirates of the Caribbean came out, so we didn't hear about chicks wanting to fuck Johnny Depp until after that movie was made. Sure. sure. But okay, what were the other professions? Uh, surgeon. Really? I could. I mean, yeah, dude, a, a, a remotely attractive doctor, especially a surgeon. He gets pussy. Yeah, who, who can even just have a menial conversation with a woman can just, yeah. Yeah, easily. And then uh, mm -hmm. werewolf and vampire. Those aren't, uh -huh. those aren't jobs, unless you work in a haunted house. Girls want to get fucked by a werewolf. I don't think girls want to fuck a haunted house employee. Yeah. Well, so I don't think that's... If they pull a off werewolf. a really good werewolf. Oh, a werewolf, it's, it's a condition. The Being a real werewolf is something that happens because you got bit by a thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a chick be like, hey, yeah, what does your husband do? Oh, he got bit by a snake. He's a snake bite victim. <laughs> It's the same thing. Like, that's not a <laughs> thing you could be attracted to. It's just, that's like, this Vampire, is completely, yeah, this, women this is get, completely off yeah. topic, but the first guy who accused Michael Jackson of molesting his kid, he sued Michael Jackson and he got like $20 million. Wow. And I got, you got to wonder the conversations like, oh, nice car, nice penthouse apartment. What do you do for a living? Oh, my kid got a finger up his ass. Dude, like that's a job. Yeah, that, it's a job. <laughs> Michael Jackson licked my kid's asshole. <laughs> he oh, got yeah, 20 million? What? Yeah, he got wow. something like, and he killed himself because just having money without having earned it, it does not lead to happiness. The guy yeah. just shot himself in the head. You can't exactly put it on your LinkedIn page. Yeah, yeah. My son got raped by a, a albino. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're star. the kid, you know, mm. uh, I'm, I wonder if the kid even got any money. I mean, maybe it was in a trust fund. I wonder, I wonder if, if the, the kid, kid doesn't even get got the raped. money. Yeah, the dad got the money fucking somehow. I mean, I guess it makes probably. no sense. It's bullshit. Just give it to the kid, and then the kid can be like a blank check type kid. You remember the phone? Oh, I do remember from that. From Disney, yeah. I was very, very young. It's, that's a fucking 90s. But I, I looked this up after, because I was like, man, that's interesting. And I went home and Googled it, and none of it's true. Hmm. The werewolf thing. Yeah, I looked it up. It's like... Uh, so Jordan B I think so I think made he, this up? I think he's a victim of doing this, where... Has anybody ever told you something? Like, one time, a guy told me... That there were only like six blimps in the world. Blimps, blimps. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you, I would believe that. If you look up and see a blimp, yeah, you've probably seen it before if you've ever seen a blimp in well, your life. We're in LA, I, so I, I had one of those. I, I told so many people that Benedict Cumberpatch, the actor, was a homosexual. Turns out he's totally straight. Because he's one married. person told, yeah, you. yeah, one person told and me this. It, I told in your head everyone. forever. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah, Benedict's gay. It, it's crazy. And, and it takes one person who gives a shit enough about you to be like, that's not dude, real. And then it was, yeah, I was an older woman. She was like, he's not, he's married. I still think know. he's gay. Yeah. Yeah, the Goodyear you. blimp, though, if you live in LA, you are seeing one blimp over and over. But you looked it up and I imagine there are more than six blimps. There's like 24 blimps. Like, in the world. So I was way off. Down in way, the way GTA. off. You're off by times four. It is funny. There, I think there are only like 10 blimp people who know how to like fly blimps mm. it must be a familial thing where is that's passed is down. that's gonna be number, terrifying number huh? six on the list of jobs girls want to fuck <laughs> yeah, blimp blimp, blimp pilot <laughs> 